So hello everybody, it is Wednesday, so it's time for another Power BI video. In today's video, I'm going to show you my five top tips for Power BI that you might not know. And oh my lord, it's going to make your life easier. Okay. Tip number one, this is for Power Query. Let me show you this. We're going to go into the Power Query editor, the queries. And this is going to blow your socks off if you didn't know about it. Let's go. Sessions. So let's go to one of the queries. We go to the advanced editor. And if you haven't said anything, this is the way it would look like. You see, for example, that the text is not wrapped. There is no numbering. Mm. So first of all, you can wrap your text. Enable word wrap, which allows you to see all the code at once. I love that feature. I think it's so, so useful. Once you wrap the code, you obviously want to have, or you might want to have numbers, line numbers, so you can see easier where the different lines start. And you can also want, have, if you want this rendering white space, so you can actually, you know, it will help guide your guys, your eyes to the right line, which is awesome. And look at this, I think it's absolutely great. Display minimap. So if you have a long query, I recommend you not to have too long queries, obviously. But when you are developing and you know you go wild with the user interface, sometimes you tend to. Make sure you clean the map, though. So here you can go through, like, oh, I think the code is in the middle of the... So you can go here easier than just scroll like that. So super useful. But what, wrap and numbering, you're like, did you know that? Hmm, curious, let me know in the comment box. Okay. Back to Power BI. This is something that I <laughs> actually learned yesterday working with a customer. You just like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Let me show you. We have here some boxes with some numbers, it's cards. So let's say that we want to create a new card. So I'm going to click on card, and then I'm going to put something, and then say, oh, I want to copy. I'm going to have the same format as the other ones. And I said, Ruth, you could have copied like, sure, sure you can. But if you forget, you can do like this. You click on the one that you want it to look like, and then you go to Format Painter. Why didn't I see that? This is probably been there all along, <laughs> either way. So you click on Format Painting, you paste, and it will copy the format that is on that visual. It is absolutely fantastic. And you say, oh, the title is not there. It's just because there is no title in here. If I just write something, how good is that? I mean, you're going to save hours of work with this trick. It's great. Probably you knew that. I didn't. So I said, hey, maybe there's somebody else that missed it like me. There you have it. Okay, next one. This is usability trick. You know, sometimes when you load data, and it doesn't necessarily need to be a lot of data, the Power BI ribbon becomes unresponsive. And uh, before I knew this trick, I actually closed Power BI because I thought it was, you know, hanged, which it is in a way, but not really. So if you do something and suddenly this pane becomes unresponsive so you cannot click, I cannot reproduce it. I've tried to film it. But it comes to life before I actually manage to record. So just believe me, sometimes this thing does become unresponsive. You don't need to close it. The only thing you need to do is minimize and maximize, and then it will come alive. Or go and grab coffee, because it's just working in something in the background. And for that reason, it's unresponsive. That's why I haven't been able to film it, because it comes to life before I actually can film anything. Either way, minimize, maximize. You don't need to close it so much easier. Still a pain, but hey, it works. Next tip, we are going to talk about uh, bookmarks. Bookmarks. I don't know if you knew this, but let me show you. No, we go in here, growth. And uh, filter pane. If you have, you know, you can bookmark the status of your filter pane, of this filter pane, you know, the white one. Let me show you. So we're going to go here, uh, view bookmark panes, and we're going to bookmark this page with the filter pane close. 
we go in here, we click on it, and we go and the filter pane is closed. Now, let's bookmark it with the filter pane open update. So now it is open. We go to some other place, we click on here, and then you see it's open. And you must say, oh, it was open before, obviously it's open. Well, okay, let's close it. Go to some other place, click bookmark, and you say, oh, why is this useful? Well, sometimes you might want to show that there, number one, there is a filter pane, or which uh, filters have been applied to that specific page. And depending on how trained your users are on Power BI, they might know about the filter pane or not. And you know, because the filter pane has changed the functionality, sometimes it's useful just to show it to say, hey, there's more there that you can actually interact with. So I thought it was a cool trick. So tip number five, this is something that drove me nuts until I found how to do it, and it's how to copy paste buttons that have bookmarks as actions. Let me show you. So if I create here a button and uh, we call the button uh, the text one and we're going to make it big so you can actually see something. Let's remove that and that and then we're going to put as an action the uh, up, 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 bookmark one. So when somebody control clicks in here or on services control is click only in Power BI service, it will take them to the growth page. You know, creating navigation buttons in Power BI. So I click here, Control C, Control V, you know, one, one, we need two. I put it in there and said, okay, this is button two, and it should go to bookmark two. I only have one bookmark, so let's leave that. So both buttons now have a bookmark associated with it. If you try to, you know, click here and then Control click there. To copy, you know, to copy in Windows, you control click. Uh, it will take you, you know, it will activate the button, so it will not allow you to copy, which is absolutely nuts because then you have to go and copy each button one by one, which you don't want to do. I promise you that is a pain. So, how do you do? Well, if you click there and then control click there. So don't click on the button, click on, on, on the header of the uh, visual and then control C, control V, it will allow you to copy. Another way to do it is to, you know, in case that you have like small buttons that you really don't see where to click or whatever it is, you can actually go here to the view selection pane and control C, select them, control C and then go here to page to Control V, and that will also copy them, okay? So if you've been annoyed by that, hopefully this trick helps you with that. And that's all for today for me. Hopefully, at least I have one trick that you didn't know. Fingers crossed. But uh, I'm curious, let me know. Did you know all of them? How many did you not know? Do you have any trick of your own that you want to share with the community? Go wild, go bananas in the comment box. Uh, I'll definitely read them and share them later. And um, yeah, this is all for today. I'll see you again on Friday with another Black Friday. So I don't know what is it going to be about yet, but hopefully something good. Fingers crossed. I'll see you on Friday. Bye.